here, we'll be doing one problem from dynamics on accelerated bodies. And the problem says, a load is lifted by a forklift and carried forward to a location. The variation of its velocities, dx and dy, in the x and y direction, are plotted against time as shown in the graph below. So here is a graph showing the variation of dx, the velocity in the x direction, and dy, the velocity in the y or vertical direction, against time. For each one second interval from 0 to 6 seconds, draw the free body diagram of the load of mass 400 kg. So here is a mass, the load being carried by the lift. It is moving both in the forward direction as well as in the vertical direction. And we have to plot the free body diagrams, the forces that are acting on this mass for each one second interval. So between zero to one second, what happens from one to two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll be plotting in our six free body diagram. Okay, so let us start by looking at the motion of this uh, object here. Here the load is getting slowly lifted, gathers up speed upward, starts moving forward like this, accelerates, then steadily moves forward, slows down in the vertical direction, slows down in the forward direction, and the cycle comes to a halt. Here we'll be looking at this uh, loading cycle once again. Only we'll be doing it in kind of slow motion. We'll be analyzing it frame by frame. And we'll be monitoring these three quantities, the velocity of the block in the x and y direction, the accelerations in x and y direction, and the forces that are acting on the block. To begin with, the velocity of the block is zero. Uh, neither does it have any acceleration as such, but still it is going to have these two forces. The force of gravity, of course, will be there, which we call as weight given by mass into gravitational acceleration, m into g. And it will be perfectly counterbalanced by a force from the fork on the block in the upward direction. This force we call as the normal reaction. And under these steady state conditions, uh, these two forces, normal reaction and the weight, are exactly equal and opposite. So the net force is zero. But that's going to change the next moment. The block is going to start accelerating upward. How do we know this? We know this from this graph here. You can see the velocity is increasing in a linear manner. And the slope of this straight line is going to be the acceleration. So this is the acceleration. And there can't be any acceleration without the application of force. So if we see acceleration, there must be a force. The acceleration is upward, so the force also must be upward. So now, this normal reaction will be slightly more than the weight. And that little difference is responsible for accelerating this block upward. So we'll show that increase here, like this. Of course, both these things happen hand in hand. Okay? I'm explaining this, so I first showed the acceleration and then the force. But otherwise, they will occur simultaneously. Now, because of this acceleration, we are going to have some upward velocity, which is steadily increasing. And that you can see here. One can see the velocity is steadily increasing for the whole second uh, over here. Okay? So this is how it will look. The velocity is increasing in the upward map. Okay, this will continue for one whole second. And at the end of our first second, the acceleration will cease. And therefore, uh, the force that was causing it will also be uh, not there. So the acceleration will vanish and that little increment in force will also vanish. Okay? So once again, we have uh, the equilibrium, the upward force normal reaction is equal to the weight. The acceleration has vanished and therefore there won't be any change in velocity and therefore the velocity will remain constant and with that steady velocity it will continue for another second up to the end of two seconds here. Okay. At the end of two seconds, now we are poised for our forward motion. Okay. So in the next moment, there will be a forward acceleration in the x direction towards right. How much will that be? That will be equal to the slope of this line, which you can see is more from, than this line. So we are going to have a stronger acceleration towards right, like this. And that is caused by force, of course. Now, where is this force coming from? It is coming from the fork 
because the lift has accelerated, it wants to drag the block along with it. And that mechanism which drags it is friction. So there is friction between this fork and the block. So as the lift and the fork accelerate towards right, they will try to drag the uh, block with them. So that's that dragging force, the friction. Now because of this force, there is this acceleration. And because of this acceleration, there will be a steady increase in velocity, which we can see in this graph. Okay? So the velocity of the block is going to increase steadily towards right. So rightward velocity has reached a maximum value. Thereafter, it is going to remain constant. So the force will vanish. And with that, the acceleration will also vanish. And with this steady velocity towards right, and with this steady velocity to uh, upward, uh, the block will continue its motion. So this will last until the end of four seconds up to this point. At this point, the deceleration of uh, the upward motion will start. Deceleration in the upward direction is like acceleration in the downward direction. So this kind of acceleration the block will experience. And this will be caused by some net downward force. Now for net downward force to be there, the normal reaction must be less than the weight. Okay. So it has reduced a little bit. So we'll again see this. So there is no acceleration. So the next moment, this force reduces a bit and the acceleration results because there is now a net downward force. If you want to think about it in terms of heavy and light, to the fork, the block will now appear to be a little lighter than it was okay, because the normal reaction is reduced. Okay. This will continue. And the effect of this acceleration would be, since it is opposite to the direction of velocity, it will reduce the magnitude of velocity like this until the velocity becomes zero. That means the upward motion of the block has completely ceased. Uh, now all we are left with is the rightward motion in the x direction. And even that too is going to change because we are all poised for a deceleration phase. So it is going to decelerate over here and we are going to have a acceleration in this backward direction. Decelerating towards right is accelerating towards left. Okay. That will be caused by, of course, some leftward force. And here too, the agency is going to be friction. See, the block is now moving with this much velocity. It wants to continue doing that. That property is called inertia. But now, uh, this forklift and this fork are now slowing down. The driver has applied the brake, otherwise it will bump into this wall. So the situation is the block wants to move towards right with this speed, while uh, the fork underneath is slowing down. So as it slows down, it tries to rein in, it tries to hold back this block. And how it does it? Again, by applying friction. So we expect a frictional force towards left like this. That is going to cause some acceleration towards left. And it is acting in a direction opposite to the velocity. Therefore, uh, the velocity's magnitude will start diminishing until it becomes zero and the whole uh, lift and uh, transport cycle is over. And then we will run this for one last time. And this time we'll be uh, taking all the free body diagrams, all six of them, one by one. Okay, so let's start the motion. We are between zero and one second. We are accelerating upward. So there is a net upward force. F is equal to MA, mass is 400 kg. Upward acceleration is 0 0.5 meter per second square. So the normal reaction will be 200 newtons more than the weight. Weight is M into G, 3920 newtons, while the normal reaction will be 4120 newtons. We continue. Now the upward acceleration has ceased. There is no acceleration here. Uh, so there is no net force. Both normal reaction and the weight are equal. Then between two and three seconds, we are going to accelerate in the horizontal direction. So there will be a net horizontal force, again equal to MA. Mass is 400, acceleration is 1.5 meter per second squared. That gives us 600 newtons of 
frictional force towards the right. In the next interval, uh, again, there are no accelerations. Uh, all forces are balanced, so normal reaction and uh, weight will be equal. Between 4 and 5 seconds, uh, we are having uh, deceleration now in the vertical direction or a downward acceleration. And that is going to be caused by a net downward force equal to 200 newtons. So the normal reaction will be 200 newtons less than the weight. So normal reaction is 3720 and the weight is 3920 newtons. Okay. And in the last case, where we decelerate in the horizontal direction. Here the acceleration is backward. Uh, the force that will cause it is m into a. 400 kg into 1.5 meter per second square, giving us 600 newton force okay, uh, towards the left. This again is caused by the friction. So those were the six free body diagrams. I suggest to go through this last uh, recap, okay, stage by stage, and understand this free body diagrams. Thank you for watching.